Hi everybody! Hi, it's me. I think I might be a little off-center. If so, that's fine. I'm not overly concerned. All I'm here to do today is give you my weekly vlog, which almost didn't happen today because putting the computer together and getting it up and running was very taxing on my back. So, yeah. Almost didn't happen! Because sometimes when I'm in an obscene amount of pain, it's hard to think about other things and how much pain I'm in, especially when it's just like pulsing and stuff like that. Um, I just got back from taking Adelaide on a walk because the last attempt to record the vlog got intruded upon by her uh, nagging me to go out, which I think she's crazy because it's cold outside, but she's a dog and they live in different temperature ranges than we do as people. In fact, people in Texas still don't understand that huskies can handle like sub-zero temperatures so whenever they see a husky or a long coat german shepherd outside they freak out and i'm just sitting there like that dog is literally designed and bred to handle temperatures well below what we you guys are used to here in the state just because you are cold doesn't mean they are cold now if you have a chihuahua or a short hair dog like i do with a basset hound um that's a totally different story. Bassett's from what I understand from my research and looking online just to see, like, in case I need to put her in the yard instead of take her for a walk, their minimum temperature range is, like, 20 degrees. Uh, and they'll let you know if they're cold. They're, they're stubborn, ain't, they can be stubborn, barky dogs when they're not happy with what they're doing. And she is currently licking the tripod. I'd show you, but uh, the tripod is not facing the right direction and she's nudging it now so if you see the camera moving that that's totally her <laughs> so yeah remember like research your breeds before you try to tell somebody that their dog can't be outside because it's way too cold especially if you live in a southern state where the lowest you're getting is probably 20 degrees i think this week we might see like 15 uh here in uh where i live at um and that's not bad. Like, I don't know. I have I come from North Dakota, so, uh, and we had a border collie, German, uh, was a border collie Springer Spaniel mix when I lived there, and she would be outside all the time playing in the snow. She loved that stuff. They're literally born and bred for that, like, hard work, outdoors stuff. Just have knowledge on your breeds. That's it. Anyways, this vlog has become a dog infomercial for some reason. Anyways, um... So, I got the computer up and running, so that's going. Um, so, school starts tomorrow, so you're going to see a slowdown on video oh, game man. videos. The weekly vlogs will still happen. I'll probably talk about school, student org, work study, stuff like that. Like, stuff I'm doing for that. Um, I mean, it's no big secret I'm in San Antonio. You're going to see me wearing the UTSA fucking hoodie. Um... Holy hell's brain, work with me here. Um, so I'll be starting, what classes am I taking this semester? Do you want to know? Well, first off, I'm a cybersecurity student. So I'm actually, uh, I'm going to focus on digital forensics or forensics in general. Um, that's my goal is to get into digital forensics and cyber crimes when I get out. Uh, if my back doesn't take me out first, which is slowly becoming the case. Oh my God, I am not a well-built human being in terms of back and body yo i need that excedrin back and body non-sponsored of course um i am a uh, third of the way done with uh jeanette mccurdy's um uh, i'm glad my mom died i got really busy so i kind of slowed down a bit i probably would have finished this in a day otherwise in fact there's uh something in here like when I do the video for this book, I'm probably going to do a, a heavier video where I talk about some stuff uh, related to narcissistic parenting and stuff like that because I went through some of the stuff too and I think having a personal perspective is a, is a good thing because sometimes people just talk about the stuff and they, they're like, yeah, this mom was a real bee and they're like, I don't believe a parent could really be like this. So they think she's like over exaggerating and stuff. And it's like, no, parents can be that way. Sometimes mothers can be some of the worst people for their daughters. And what was it like the phrase is like a mother is a child's first bully, like is a daughter's first bully. And sometimes it's not even just that they make fun of them and it's they judge themselves based against them or they try to turn their daughters into what they wanted to be 
as women, as, as children growing up, as women, as girls growing up. Uh, I think we lose sight of that still when we are parents because it's a control factor. Um, as parents, like I'm a parent, I, I have animals. I don't have kids. I, I can't have kids. Um, I have, a uh, my PCOS is to the point where like, I pretty much am non-functioning and I have to have IUD all the time to, uh, yeah, l listen to me talk about this. And I live in this state, a little political there, but, um, if my state could outlaw the use of IUDs, they probably would do that too. I think there was talk floating that they were going to try to do that at one point. I don't know anymore. Sometimes I do head and sand myself with politics because if I don't, like, I'm not going to make it through these three years of school to get myself out of the state. Um. I love the state. I, like, how do I put this? I love the people I've met in the state. I do not enjoy the politics of the state. And I grew up through the 90s and the early 2000s when, like, the Republican Party was kind of, uh, like, not great. The Democrats weren't great. I mean, they, neither party is great, to be honest. Like, if you're, if you want to be true to political science, neither party is great. They're just different flavors of problematic. Um, Democrats can't decide on an identity. Republicans have chosen an identity that's highly bad. And it's like you're choosing between the lesser of two evils when it comes to politics these days. I mean, I'm just a moderate leftist. Like, I, I like to take everything in balance and not to extremes. Because when you take things to extremes, that's when things get bad. You need to be able to look at problems and see the different potential outcomes and measurements and stuff like that. And people forget that. Like, it's, you, it's like all or nothing. Uh, I don't want to talk a lot about politics. And here I am rambling about it because I am actually pretty passionate about the topic to a degree. And there goes the plug off of my wall from my dog. <sighs> happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts. Hearts, liver, nerves. The other one. Is it spleen? It's probably not spleen. Hearts. Can you stop barking at that? She is so into barking at whatever that is. I just realized. I don't even know how much of me you guys can hear because I'm not wearing the headsets and the headsets is my default <laughs> microphone. Oh my baby G. Oh, default. Either that or it's working off of my, my thing. My, my, oh no. Oh no. Uh, headphones. It's output. I need my input. No. Output, input. Oh, so yeah, my headset is what's uh, recording me right now. I hope I sound normal. I'm actually kind of surprised at how quiet the, the PC tower runs at. The center and my headsets are literally laying on top of them. <laughs> Hi. Are you done talking to the wall? You're such a good girl. If I could, if I could move the camera a little bit. Let me see. Let me see if I can't reposition this a little bit. You guys are going to have to watch this happen on, on real time. I apologize in advance. You guys are also going to have to put up with a dirty ass floor. Because I have to try to keep up with her, and it doesn't always work out very smoothly. Is that- is that- oh. oh. Look, it's her! Yeah, she needs her bed cleaned up. She's so excited to be on the camera. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. But you're not centered right, so you're, no one can see you. This is Atalanta. Yeah, this is Atlanta. You're getting a star in an episode yourself, even though like no one can see you because 
Oh, excuse me. There you go. This is her. She's she's crazy. She's still puppy. She's still like seven. She's going. She just passed her seven month mark. So she's still a little bit uh crazy dog mode. Crazy puppy mode. But yeah, this is Atlanta. You see her in a lot of the walk videos. She's a little unhappy with the weather because it means she can't go out in the yard and play a lot. I put her out there for a little bit, but we have like three hours where we have potential freezing rain, so we can't put her outside until later. Anyways, before I forget, hi. Am I here? Am I here? I'm here. Hi guys, you're looking from down. You know, you guys again, Chen. Now you get a Rocky dog cam. She's trying to play director. Anyways, bye. Thanks for coming up for the vlog and all my random rambles for the week. Bye bye.